The Uganda Revenue Authority has been given a target of 29.7 trillion shillings to be completed as income in the fiscal year 2023-2024 to finance the country's debt burden. People gathered in Soroti City with focus on understanding the tax modification announced this week, such as Income Tax Amendment Bill 2023, the VAT Amendment Bill 2023 and the Exercise Duty Bill 2023, among others. In order to get a deal, in order to get all other services that we offer. The other strategy is strengthening our stakeholder collaboration with other government agencies to share information, data integration and analysis to identify and register eligible and registered persons, improve service delivery, and accurately assist tax. When the Minister for Finance, Planning and Economic Development's representative Ishmael Magona spoke to the stakeholders in Soroti City, he revealed the necessity for corporation to collect funds for the tax to GDP ratio for its current imported 13.5% to 14.6%. He also aimed to meet government obligations by enhancing Ugandans' livelihoods through tax paying expansion programs. Bank of Uganda, URA, the Civil Society Budget Advocacy Group, the Advocates Coalition for Development and Environment, the Southern and Eastern Africa Trade Information and Negotiations Institute, CRTN, the Private Sector Foundation Uganda, and the Overseas Development Institute for the close collaboration with us to increase participation in the budget process. The budget is to be financed through domestic revenue equivalent to 29.7 trillion shillings, budget support amounting to 2.4 trillion shillings, domestic borrowing 1.6 trillion shillings and external project support of 8 trillion shillings. Government's key priorities are starting the construction of the standard gauge lorry and finalizing the rehabilitation of, of the meter gauge lorry way under the integrated transport program. Upgrading of our transport infrastructure by embarking on the construction of a standard gauge lorry, uh, but also ensuring that our roads the third one is promoting the use of small-scale power, solar power irrigation in order to adapt to the changes of climate. Building infrastructure in industrial parks, connecting them to electricity, water, paved roads, ICT, and other infrastructure. Investment in oil and gas to start production and shape. The informal sector has significantly contributed to the gross domestic product GDP, according to a report from Uganda Bureau of Statistics, and the URA's efforts are focused on getting it to increase by 50% of GDP. On bringing more eligible taxpayers into the tax net, especially from the informal sector, which accounts for about 50% of our GDP, but currently contributes less than 10% of our tax revenue. We are emphasizing the importance and benefits of business formalization by working with the various associations, the local governments, and the Uganda Registration Services Bureau under a joint program called the Taxpayer Register Expansion Program. In 2016, Uganda developed a medium-term revenue strategy whose core objective is to improve revenue collection, lifting Uganda's tax-to-GDP ratio between 18 to 20 percent within the next five financial years. As a result, the interventions would bring Uganda closer to attaining its target of a 16% tax-to-GDP ratio as set out in the National Development Plan 2 and the Charter of the Physical Responsibility. Samuel Chirumunda compiled this story.